In this unique episode, we venture inside the historical cruise ship MV Astoria, the oldest sailing cruise ship before the pandemic. We show you the current status of the ship and explore all the passenger and crew decks. And we nearly got caught too. Hi, I'm Bob, an urban explorer. And with friends, I explore the most amazing abandoned places worldwide. The cruise ship industry has been heavily affected by the COVID-19 pandemic resulting in a record of cruise ships being sent to scrap. In the past years, I was able to explore the Carnival Inspiration and MS Esther legally. This time we will explore the MV Astoria, which got docked in the Netherlands in 2020 due to the pandemic. The construction of this ship started in 1944 and commenced service in 1948 as the Transatlantic Ocean Liner Stockholm. She was best known for an accidental collision with the ship Andrea Doria in July 1956, resulting in the sinking of the latter ship and 46 fatalities off the coast in Massachusetts, United States. During her seven decades of service, she has passed through several owners and sailed under several names. Following its docking, we tried multiple ways to obtain legal access to the old cruise ship. Despite numerous attempts, our efforts proved futile. It was time to embark on our own daring way, but many attempts failed due various obstacles. Undeterred, we decide to make one final effort, with in mind that if we wait too long, there's a chance the ship will be gone. It's a daring mission and we carefully planned every little detail. Will it finally work out? We can't believe it, we made it onto the MV Astoria. Although not technically abandoned, its future doesn't look bright and the chance it will be sailing again becomes slimmer by the day. Hopefully it will get on our attention again because of this video. We venture inside and can only hope the cruise ship is still intact and there's nobody living on board. If not, we will spend 24 hours inside. <laughs> After being inside for a few minutes, we spot a security car outside, on the same spot we just walked. We've been really lucky. You can see the importance of good security. Do you take care about your online security? Today's sponsor is NordVPN. NordVPN hides your IP address and encrypts your online activity, making it harder for advertisers, government agencies or hackers to track your online activities. This is especially important when you use public Wi-Fi. NordVPN also protects you against password attacks. Many people don't take passwords seriously and use easy passwords or use the same password from multiple accounts. When one of these websites get hacked, hackers can abuse this information. With NordVPN you can turn on dark web monitor to get alerts about your credentials that appear on underground hacker websites, so you can quickly change those passwords. When I browse on the internet, I notice the web isn't really worldwide anymore. Every country has different access. Also when I travel, I face issues like in China, where I am right now. All Western websites and social media platforms are blocked. Without a VPN, you are blocked off from the rest of the world. With NordVPN, you can easily change to another server, so you get access to all geo-restricted content. For China, you have to use an obfuscated server. Try NordVPN now and get 62% discount buying 2 year standard plan and get 4 additional months for free, link in description. Thanks NordVPN for being a long term partner. <sighs> we wake up in one of the suites at a higher deck on the ship with a view on the wharf. We really have no clue if people work on the ship or if there are security patrols inside. It seems quiet outside and we think we'll be safe inside the cruise ship. Well, we were wrong.
Suddenly, while standing in a corridor, we see flashlights coming our way. We quickly hide in the bathroom. It's a miracle we didn't get spotted. Two voices get eerily close. They even stepped inside the room where we were hidden. After waiting for a while, we go back to our home base, the place where we put our belongings. Luckily, these belongings didn't get noticed. After keeping an eye on the surroundings, we cautiously continue our explore and hope not to bump into anyone. We start on top of the cruise ship and we'll work our way down, as silent as possible, so I won't be talking.
here we find the first evidence of activity on this ship. Oops. These are maybe the flashlights we saw earlier. Let's hope they don't return.
We finished our exploration and it's time to go out. Thanks for watching. Please leave a comment and thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more amazing ship explorers.